Hi everybody, welcome back to The Good, The Bad, and The Anxious. I'm Rebecca um, and I'm here to document my journey through bariatric surgery and beyond. Um, I got the vertical sleeve gastrectomy on January 16th, 2021 at uh, Blossom Bariatrics in Las Vegas. Um, my stats are down below in the description. Um, as well as my Instagram link and some other links that might be um, important um, if you're interested. Uh, so basically, right now I'm almost through three weeks post-op. I'm like two and some change weeks post-op. Um, but this video I meant to do it about a week ago. So uh, <laughs> today's video is going to be about the things that have kind of gotten me through pre-op uh, surgery and then post-op. Um, and I'm going to link all of the items that I show here today down below in the description. It might take me a little bit to get all the links together, but I will put them all down there. Um, but most of the items can be found on Amazon as well as bariatricpal.com. So, um, sorry that this video is so late. Uh, it's actually been surprisingly hard to record because my second week of recovery going into my third week has actually been a little rough um, but I will I will talk about that in my in my next video um, so don't worry you'll get you'll you'll learn the details um, so yeah so let's get into this um, basically pre-op so pre-op if you'll recall was two shakes uh, and then one meal with four to five ounces of protein along with kind of unlimited leafy green vegetables so that was the pre-op diet so the things that got me through pre-op diet, um, first and foremost would be fair life. Um, I'm not a fan of premier protein. I think premier protein is too sweet, kind of nasty in my opinion. Um, I believe that both, both pre-op and post-op. Um, but, uh, I love the fair life one. Number one, lactose free. Number two, um, you know, 30 grams of protein. Number three, I think that all the flavors that I've tried, and I've tried three of, I think there's four out there of this kind. Um, all of them are like, they're more subtle. They're not as sweet. They're not kicking in the face. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I really like these flavors. So my favorite is the chocolate. This is the salted caramel. Um, the vanilla is all right. It's a little bit boring. Um, I mean, as is vanilla. But uh, there's also a coffee one that I haven't tried yet that I will at some point. Um, but yeah, I like these because they're, they only have uh, three grams of, I think there are two grams, two grams of sugar, three grams of carbs, um, and 30 grams of protein. Uh, and they're only 150 calories. So these were nice. So this is what I drank like morning and noon um, for my pre-op. Another thing that was pretty instrumental for pre-op was probably the thing I use the most even now, which is a food scale. Um, this is just a regular food scale. It's Ozeri brand digital kitchen scale. Um, from I got this one off of Amazon. Uh, but this is how I measured my protein every day. Um, and this is how I still measure all my food. Um, and then it's kind of nice just because you can put turn on, put something on it, tear it out and then add your food and you can get the exact weight of the food without getting the scale itself dirty. Uh, and then you can choose the unit, whether you want ounces or grams or whatever. It's got it. So this one was like affordable, easy to use, simple. Um, so that helped me get through pre-op and then a couple other things that just kind of helped me get through the pre-op stage because you're supposed to drink a lot of liquid still but you're not supposed to be snacking a whole bunch so one of the things that really got me through and I'll talk about this one a couple times is this this is called Millie's sipping broth um, it's vegan gluten-free all-natural keto friendly it was actually made by a teacher who wanted something that was kind of lower carb and better for you uh, as a snack between classes. So basically it looks like, and I'm not gonna open one all the way, but it looks like a little tea bag. So it's a little tea bag in there and it's filled with basically like herbs and, and broth. Um, and you steep it like you would tea and it's delicious and it definitely helps when you're uh, 
really craving something to eat, but you can't eat anything. So this has been helpful, definitely pre-op, absolutely still post-op, um, especially because post-op it helps you get in your liquids where while you're still feeling like you're like eating something. So it helps with like the, the head hunger actually a lot. So this is one of my favorite things that got me through uh, pre-op. Um, let's see what else, uh, pre-op, let's see, I'm just checking my notes because, you know, I always have notes. Um, small plates, eating off of smaller plates. Uh, I think my dinner plates are just a little bit bigger than this circumference, which is about the size of your hand. So, um, that was kind of the stuff that I was eating off of, uh, pre, pre-surgery. So, uh, during surgery, lots of things that got me through. I'm, when I talk, when I say during surgery, I'm talking about like immediately post-op, the first couple days post-op. Um, you're supposed to be on mostly clear liquids for the first couple days. And then after that, you kind of graduate to full liquids. So clear liquids, probably the most important thing would be this stuff or something similar to it. This was the one that I found to be the most tolerable. It had the least nasty flavors. I have to say that almost every clear, like water, protein water that I have come across, and I've tried a couple, it doesn't, they don't taste good. <laughs> don't expect them to taste good. They're not gonna taste good. Um, this is very similar to the one that they gave me at Blossom in terms of the flavoring. They had like a fruit punch one, and this is tropical punch. Um, and uh, it's tolerable. It's especially tolerable if you get it cold and pour it over ice, um, then it's pretty good. It has 20 grams of protein if you drink this whole thing, and obviously that gets you in your liquids, and immediately post-op, most important thing is liquids, 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 and then protein. So this helps you get your liquids and your protein in post-op. <laughs> um, and I found this one on, on Amazon. I bought a case of it. Did not end up going through the case, so that's another thing when you're prepping for surgery, like buy a couple different like types of things, individuals, don't buy cases of things, you're gonna have way too much left over. So the next thing, my favorite thing that I have been drinking, and I'm currently, this is the one I am drinking, that's why it's only partially full, is G2, um, so Gatorade Zero, not G2, scratch that, Gatorade Zero. Um, G2 still has some calories and sugar in it, so, Gatorade Zero, uh, Powerade Zero, um, Propel Water, it's a couple different other ones, but Vitamin Water, I think there's a Vitamin Water that has zero calories. Um, but the point is, is that this stuff helps you stay hydrated after surgery, and then you can get a bunch of different flavors and you don't get so sick of just eating or drinking the same flavors over and over. Um, another couple things that got me through is Sipping broth, bone broth specifically. Um, this one, this one comes in a couple different types. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Um, a couple different flavors. Uh, this one is ginger and turmeric. I think there was like a rosemary and thyme one. Uh, but you can try a couple different kinds. This one's all right. Um, I have to say this isn't my favorite brand of sipping broth, um, but this one is handy because you can just heat it and go. You take it and you put it in the microwave and you're good to go. If you have access to hot water though, my absolute favorite um, sipping broth that really helps me in the last couple weeks is this one, um, Lono Life uh, Bone Broth. This one is specifically beef. They also have chicken. They have a Thai curry one that I currently have that I'm trying and that's, it's all right. It's not my favorite. I like the beef the best. Um, but uh, this, this stuff is like, this is my bay. I, I love this stuff. Um, if I'm really hungry or really cold, this is like the best. Anyways, so this really helps helps get through, um, gets you your protein. And again, this is 10 grams of protein, so it's actually more protein than this one. Um, and in my opinion, has enormously better flavor. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's a really great one for immediately post-op. Um, Basically, you're immediately post-op, you're doing the clear liquids. So I would stick with the protein water, stick with like the Gatorade Zero, and stick with bone broth for those first like two days. After that, then you can start having more full liquid diets. So of course, back to the Fairlife, um, and a couple of different types of flavors of uh, protein powder. 
So this is another good one. Um, ghost protein uh, in the, I like the Chips Ahoy is pretty good, but I also like the, there's one called Nutter Butter that's really good. Um, and you can get a sam you can get sample packets of these and that's what this is. Um, and this is basically what I did was I went around and I got a couple different sample packets of flavors that sounded good of a couple different brands of protein powders, which kind of helps you narrow down like what you like. So I've already narrowed down a couple that I really like that I'll show you here in a moment. Um, another thing would be this. This is kind of cool, cool product. Um, it's a shaker bottle. So you would put something like this along with like your almond milk or your soy milk, I guess, or I do, I do fair life because it's lactose free and it's high in protein and low in sugar. Um, but this is kind of cool cause you see the little, the ball in there, right? But this is my favorite part. So down here, this unscrews and it's just a little compartment. So you, if you're going to be drinking your, cause you can also mix any of these with water. Um, I don't think it tastes very great that way, but you can. So if you're going to go somewhere and be out for a while and obviously you don't want to carry around like a bottle full of water or you can, you can carry a bottle full of milk, I guess, whatever you want to put in there, put this in here and then screw this onto the bottom, take it with you. And then when you're ready, unscrew it, pour it in, shake it up, drink it. Right? So that part's kind of handy. This also has a little spot where you can hang it. And one of my favorite features, it's very silly, um, is when you're all done and you need to store it, this part goes right in there. And then you can put it and it's significantly shorter. So I have really short shelves in my kitchen and for some reason that like really helps me. So this is kind of handy, immediately post-op. Um, let's see, um, oh, also, so, Heating packs. Heating packs are super helpful, especially right after surgery when you've got all the gas kind of hanging out in your shoulders and in your chest and your diaphragm. Um, and this was one I got off of Amazon and I liked it. You can actually see that I already burned it. That's what the slight yellowing in here is, is burn marks. But, uh, so don't be like Rebecca, follow the instructions, don't burn it. But I liked this one because it has three separate sections and each section you can open it up and pull out the inside and then this outer shell can be washed which is actually really nice because you wouldn't think that you'd like drip food on your heating pack or something but if you're like me you do because you live with this thing on you all the time anyway so this heating pack some sort of heating pack is super helpful this one just goes in the microwave for like two minutes and you got a nice hot pack you can also shove these in the freezer and they're great for cold packs as well if you injure yourself so they're good things to have and then to keep like lifelong uh lastly the thing that helped me immediately post up is this monstrosity here it is a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> Obviously I'm not pregnant, but, um, it's nice immediately post-op to have these long pillows on either side of you to support your back, but also, um, to support your stomach. So I'm a side sleeper. I don't like sleeping on my back or my stomach. So I would lay on my side and put one of these under my stomach, which would help support it because it was sore right after surgery, you know, tuck the end in between my legs and that would help align my spine. And it just, it's like a hug, super comfortable. My husband got this for me for Christmas, knowing that I've been wanting a pillow like this for forever. Um, and uh, yeah, it's definitely, it was definitely really helpful. Immediately following surgery, I brought it with me all the way down, cause I, I drove to Vegas. Um, and I brought that with me in the car all the way down to, uh, to Vegas and had it in the hotel room, which was so nice. Um, okay. So moving on from immediate right after surgery, uh, the next like phase next week or so next two weeks, even including even right now, sometimes the stuff that got me through is again, we go back to the tea is really helpful because I actually struggle to get in my, uh, my liquids. So tea as I throw things, sorry. The sipping broth again really helps. I bring this to work every single day. 
Um, something like this, get off Amazon a little, make some, you know, some pops. I've made protein water pops. Those are nice immediately after surgery. So that might be something you want to pick up before surgery. Um, and then I've made Gatorade Zero Pops. This, that's what I currently have in my fridge to help me get some some liquids in. Um, I've used put protein powder in here. It's not as great, it's kind of gritty, but I've done it. It's not bad. Um, you know, just make popsicles. That makes the food feel like it lasts longer. Um, the next things that were helpful would be uh, small containers for immediately post-op. So we got something like this, a little two ounce plastic container um, used for, you can sip your liquids right after surgery. You can, you know, measure your first couple bites of food into one of these. This one's two ounces. There's, there's all, they also have four ounce and like six ounce ones. Um, I also have something like this, a little jar. This I, I believe is a four ounce jar. Um, and I put protein pudding in these and then stuck them in the fridge and then they were little, you know, cute little to go. I could take it with me. Um, and I also have a bunch of little mini Tupperwares that are about four or six ounces, four to six ounces that are super helpful for meal prep. I also have little four ounce ramekins that are super helpful for, for meal prep. Um, and the next things would be small bowl, small spoon. So the small bowl, this bowl is probably about six, six to eight ounces, which is a little big. Um, but I have other ones that are a little bit smaller than this. This one is about the size of your palm. Um, and so when you put your food in it, you don't feel like you're eating so little when the bowl is so little. <laughs> so that helps. Um, also the tiny spoons, this is actually a baby spoon, like literally a baby's spoon. Um, and I like this because it forces you to take little teeny tiny bites. So those are really handy. Um, some of my favorite, uh, stuff that I've been eating a lot of is collagen peptides. Uh, you can put this in, in your bone broth. You won't even taste it. Um, I've put it in tea before. I've put it in coffee. Once you get to that point where you're drinking caffeine, um, this is just, a great way not only to get, um, I think it's 18 grams of protein in, but also to get 20 grams of collagen in. And the collagen is good for your hair, skin, and nails. So uh, especially post-op, you're gonna have st struggle with that stuff. So that's important. Um, my next favorite product would be the Halmar Protein Hot Chocolate, specifically this one. This one has um, 23 grams of protein per scoop, big scoops tastes like hot chocolate. Uh, you can have it hot. It's really good. I've done like sugar-free chocolate sh syrup on there and some of this, and I've done it with like frothed milk and I've done, you know, you can put like whipped cream or Cool Whip on it or like sugar-free. Um, point is it's delicious. It's a nice little treat. And then also I have put this with my other favorite product, PB2. Put these two together and you've got the most delicious shake in the world. So that's what I have almost every morning for breakfast. Um, and in order to mix that all together, something like this or an immersion blender, if you've got it, would is very helpful. This basically, <laughs> it just mixes up the protein powder into whatever liquid you have it in. So if you don't want to use a shaker bottle, this is also super handy. I got this one for $5 off of uh, bariatricpal.com, but you also, um, I also have like a KitchenAid immersion blender that's amazing. That's for like soups, protein, whatever you need it for. It's, it's great. Um, and then finally, the thing that's been getting me through work lately is uh, this Wild Zora specifically the picante beef soup. They do have uh, these in like a sample pack where you can try a bunch of their different soups, but this is my favorite. I've tried all of them. This is my favorite. Um, and so basically like I go to work every day and these are the three products that I bring with me every single day. And all three of them, these are each 50 calories a piece. This has five grams of protein. This has 10. This has no grams of protein. This is basically nothing. These three things though are what help me get through my day and help me get my, not only my protein in, but especially my liquids in because I actually struggle a lot with getting my liquids in. Um, 
So those three th things and the Gatorade Zero are pretty much what I use. So, um, yeah, that's everything that's in front of me. So that's all the things that have been basically getting me through the last month and some change. Um, they've been pretty instrumental in my in my success so far. Um, and then I and I hope that they help some of you guys on your journey. Um, you know, but yeah, definitely uh, a couple tips that I have is don't order an abdominal binder. Sometimes the hospitals will give them to you. Uh, also, I didn't need it for the VSG. I don't feel like it's necessary at all, possibly for R and Y, but not for VSG. Uh, so don't bother buying one. I have one that's just lying around. Um, don't buy, like I said, in bulk. Don't don't overstock. Don't buy a lot of cases. I know that everybody says that and nobody listens, but we mean it. Buy sample packs. Go to, go to the grocery store. Grab a couple of these off the shelves. Don't grab an entire case. Go to the store. Grab a couple of these off the shelf. Don't buy an entire case. The only thing I will say that buy an entire case of would be like Gatorade Zero. Find a couple different flavors that you like and buy cases of them because you'll use the you'll use the Gatorade Zero for months. Um, once you've got all of your little samples and you've tried them, then you can go back and you can get like the bigger things of the flavors that you really like. Sorry, dropping things. Um, cause yeah. And also your, your tastes can change post-op. Mine didn't change post-op, but your tastes can change. So just, you know, be careful with what you buy. Um, let's see. Basically, you just want enough to get yourself through the first couple days because by the time you get through the first couple days, you're, you already know a couple of the things that you like and it won't be, you can just go to the store and buy more. Um, everybody wants to like stock up for the first two weeks thinking like, I won't be able to get to the store. No, you'll feel fine enough to go to the store after like three days. So yes. Um, so that's it for today. Um, ended up being way longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a short video. Whatever. I'm, I'm long winded. We all know this. Um, so my next video, I will talk about week two and the beginning of week three and kind of what happened and starting soft foods and what happened to me and why it took me so long to record this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below if you want to keep following my journey and take care.